Today, Sharon Squassoni, Director and Senior Fellow of the Proliferation Prevention Program, who just returned from Seoul last week, will update us on the 2012 Nuclear Security Summit. What were the successes of the summit? I think the major success was that you had it, that Seoul was actually able to pull this off. It was an expanded agenda, an expanded list of countries. Um, there were no real uh, surprises, but there was strong support for this continued process. And, you know, when Washington held the first summit in 2010, it wasn't clear what was going to happen. Uh, now you see that states have bought into the process, and uh, so we can see um, even more collaboration and renewed efforts in nuclear security going forward. And were there any surprises? The summit faced the difficulty of uh, actually branding, you know, media attention. There was a lot of focus on North Korea because of the um, proposal that they made shortly before the summit to reopen negotiations, followed also by this announcement that they would have a, a satellite launch. Um, so, you know, in some ways I was surprised that the summit itself didn't get more derailed, but um, actually the media um, itself was probably not all that helpful because it was a little confused. Um, in terms of surprises, uh, really countries did what we pretty much expected them to do. There were a few very concrete uh, projects that were announced and those were good. You know, the U.S. is going to be collaborating with a few countries on this issue of um, <clears throat> making fuel for research reactors that does not use highly enriched uranium, that was good. There were some efforts uh, on more collaboration, uh, especially with Interpol on nuclear smuggling, that was good. But overall, um, the outcome was not too surprising. And were there any disappointments? Well, I think some of the disappointments, uh, you know, we're just seeing all of the paperwork coming out now. Even last night when I was on the official website, some of the, the <clears throat> the documents weren't ready. But when I look at some of the national statements, um, I'm disappointed that there isn't a more rigorous or standardized way of reporting progress on nuclear security. You look at the U.S. report, it's very factual. It lists all the things we've done. You look at the Pakistani report, and it reads almost like a fiction novel. And what does the joint declaration mean in terms of next steps? Well, there will be another summit held in 2014. The Dutch will be hosting that. Um, the interesting thing that came out of the summit was that <clears throat> instead of having national, you know, they were calling them house gifts, instead of having national commitments, countries got together to um, make joint projects. And, you know, with the force of several countries behind it, you have more money, you have more momentum. And so those, some of those joint activities have very specific work plans. Again, it's uneven across the range of issues, whether it's nuclear forensics, information security, um, uh, other things like transportation security, but I think that some of those working groups are going to be able to make some real progress uh, before we get to 2014. Thank you very much for joining us today. My pleasure.